you know, rolling and stuff. I can't do it. So I just do this simple stuff. Right, so the uh, camera's back here. Alright, so this, I'm going to do a uh, gift construct, gift wrap, sorry, to back. Okay, and then to choke. Alright, so I'm here. Do it that, over there. No, don't do it to me. Alright, so I'm here. This is kind of cheeky, but hey, who cares? Right, you don't like that? Face it, now in a real fight, what are you going to do? That. Hit him, hit him. It doesn't matter, what's he gonna do? <coughs> Alright, so all I'm gonna do, I've got my I've got to have my weight on him still. Alright? That's my weight off him. Right? And what I'm gonna do, the good thing to do, listen to his breathing. Feel him breathing. He's breathed out till I tightened it up. Okay? See? <laughs> breathed out again. I'm just putting my weight on him while he's breathed out. Right? But what I'm gonna do, and this is really simple, my left knee, that's that one. I'm going to put it under him and my right and I'm going to sit down. Okay? Watch. Do not cross your ankles. I've got an underhook for a reason. If I don't, he can just wriggle away from me, like downwards. Which is that way. I can't strangle him. I want to strangle him. So I keep an underhook and pull him onto me. Right? Arm under his chin. Because he's not directly let me have it. Okay? If I cross my ankles, you get beat by a girl. If I do this, he's going to get his right calf and put it on top of this foot. And he's going to break my foot. See? Uh, yeah? Well, <laughs> now, to make it worse, get your left foot and put it over your right leg. Oh, look what he's doing to my ankle. Right? So look. From this position, I'm going to put him unconscious. Can he, will he go unconscious before he breaks my ankles? <laughs> before I start screaming on the floor. So that's why I don't cross my ankles. Just put them there like that. Okay? Get my arm under his neck. See my chin? Sorry, his chin is in line with my elbow. Then, I don't do this because he'll grab hold of my wrist. Just slide it up here. Look, put my... Put my hand that wants around his neck onto my bicep. There. And all I'm doing is squeezing my elbows together. Watch. Like that. See? I am not pulling. Look, this is a pulling. It takes my left foot. Let's do that. Right. So, comes on side. I've got some hand side control. Come here, bump this over, get gift wrap. Right. I'm going to sit him up a little bit, slide underneath him. My hook's in, get double on the hook here. Bring him up on me. Don't want him out there. The crossing ankles thing, I was, rest I was doing jiu-jitsu with a girl, beating her up, took her back, crossed my ankles and then started virtually screaming as she ankle locked me. Okay? <laughs> That's why I said. And, and I remember not to do it again for about a year until somebody else tapped me on it. So I don't, because the judo you like to do this because they're not as ankle like Look, now he's going to wear that I'm going to strangle him, so he puts his chin down. So what I'm going to do, palm my hand on his forehead. See? Get my neck to there. If I want to, just do a Mac Hughes style one. Or, like that. You can see the difference in him tapping. Look, if I do it like this, he taps. See how much quicker he goes for it, so. Yeah, volunteer please. <laughs> Thank you. Rush at once. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I've got him side control. And, you know, if something's going to lie there like that, I don't have to do all this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this because he gives certain um, stimulants. Resistances, yeah. If he, if he doesn't do them, if he's going to just lie down, I'm going to put my knee in his sternum. Oh, it's still his size, he's doing this. <laughs> so look, get this, bring it across him and grab hold of it. Okay, put pressure on him. Sit him up, take his back. If he starts to fall over, I have to strangle with the bottom hand. So if he starts to fall that way... <laughs> look, because if I was strangling with this hand, so as a defence, 
If somebody starts to do this to you, fall away from it, like where my fingers are pointing. Because I can't get in there. Do you see? Yeah. And I'm not saying it's a nice place to be, but it's better to be unconscious. So, huh. But the basic real naked choke. Not like this. Because he will grab hold of it like a baseball bat. Right? What a lot of people do, what I would do at this point, is lift these hands over your head to there. Lift my arm right over. And now he's arm locking me. Now he's not going to finish it, but I'm in a far worse position than I was five seconds ago, yeah? So, I don't want to do that. So I'm here. Slide this in. If he's got his head chin down to stop me doing it. Slide it in. Look, bring my hand up behind him. He never sees it. <laughs> okay? So, this could have come when we first started. So you just got your hands and knees. You know, we did the half guard sweep and then I climbed up on his back. So I'm here. Well, not sweep, back take from half guard. Just got to stay on your hands and knees. Yeah, don't just, don't just spill out. So I'm here. Do this, yeah? Same finish. See? And he can't tap because he's in the land on his head. Okay? So, just without a partner. I get his, his frame of my neck or, or whatever he's doing, I bump it across and grab hold of it under his head. His head's here. Grab his wrist like that. Okay? Then all I'm going to do is lift him up, which he kind of quite likes because the pressure comes off. So I've got to do it fairly quickly. Lift him up and slide underneath him. Put my feet into his groin. Pull his head. Finish. Okay?